everybody, welcome to the Koto music program portion of the Nikkei Matsuri. Uh, my name is Shirley Kazuyo Muramoto. I'm a Koto teacher and um, performer of this Japanese traditional instrument, 13 string zither, known as the Koto, which is the national instrument of Japan. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank the uh, staff and people of the Nikkei Matsuri who put this all together. It was a lot of work. Uh, especially Leslie Yamatake, who um, really helped and guided us uh, in particular. And um, I'm really very happy that they're keeping this going in some form, even though it's a little difficult in this pandemic. But um, I think we still can con connect through uh, culture, arts, and, and music. Um, I uh, My background in uh, Koto uh, starts off uh, back in 1976 where uh, I journeyed to Japan to take my exams on the Koto and received my Shihan degree with Yushu Sho honors from the Ikuta Koto school known as Chikushi Kai in Fukuoka, Japan. Um, I received my master's Dai Shihan degree in 2000 and I've really been uh, performing and, and teaching in the Bay Area for almost 60 years. Um, uh, another um, interest I've had through these years is uh, finding out about Japanese traditional performing arts in the World War II um, camps because my mother learned how to play koto in the camps. Um, she, she was 10 years old at the time, um, but fortunately because my grandmother was so interested in koto music, she found a teacher at Topaz, Utah camp uh, named Haruko Suwada. And later on, when they moved to Tuli Lake, uh, my mother's teacher was Mitsuko Sanemitsu Oda. Uh, so my mom um, got her interest in koto and learned how to play um, and passed that on to me. And um, I passed it on to my son, Brian Mitsuhiro Wong. We are three generations of koto teachers in the Bay Area. Um, with this research, um, one of the photos that we uncovered while we were doing this is behind me. It's a photo uh, from World War II, Amachi, uh, Colorado, Granada camp. Uh, and these two gentlemen, their names are Koshiro Kumagai and Jutaro Gondo. Uh, they were you know, keeping up the rhythm for the Bon Odori. And um, this was sponsored by the Granada Buddhist Church. This photo was taken by the uh, War Relocation Authority photographer Joe McClellan. And this is how they did their obon. Um, they used recorded music and they, um, they had these two drummers to help them keep the rhythm. Now this is 1943, so, so it's nice to know that um, we kept these traditions going all the way through. And our next number reflects this. Um, it's called Matsuri Daiko. That means festival drums. We even use the koto, the body of the koto, as a drum. So it's kind of a very interesting piece composed by Chikushi Katsuko. And the koto players are Isabella Kazuai Lu, Isako Kajun Kashino, and Mayumi Nomura. Um, also, I'm playing um, koto in this piece. And on the bass koto, 17 string um, bass koto, will be my son, Brian Mitsuhiro Wong. I hope you enjoy Matsuri Daiko.
Our next number is called Nagare Yukuhana, which means uh, blossoms flowing down the stream. Um, I thought it's very um, descriptive, as just like this photo showing um, cherry blossoms, sakura blossoms that are falling and um, landing in the stream and going down the, to the river. Right. Um, this piece is also by Chikushi Katsuko and it features um, my students Emily Imazumi and Matt Mastin. Matt is from North Carolina and uh, Emily is from San Jose. Uh, both these students I've never met before in person. <laughs> uh, first time they started was actually last year around September, October, and they've been doing very, very well. Um, uh, San Jose is not too far from Oakland where I'm based, but um, because of the pandemic, we of course have been staying in our homes. And that is the reason I haven't uh, met Emily yet, but she's uh, quite promising to me. She um, was part of the Grateful Crane and also um, has worked with San Jose Taiko before. She, she sings and she's a composer. And um, Matt is uh, from North Carolina. He's a professor at Duke University and he just learned how to tie the koto strings by hand. So really Matt. <laughs> um, I'm really proud of both of them. They're doing really, really well. So I hope you enjoy uh, Nagare Yukuhana.
The next no number is called Yudachi, uh, which means sudden showers. Um, I really like this woodblock print, um, which is also called sudden showers. So I thought it was a perfect thing to show with this song coming up, the uh, woodblock print by the by famous uh, Hiro, Hiroshige. And it features um, uh, one of my students from Berkeley who started last year, uh, Noel Powell. Um, he's a 12 year old student who's been my Zoom student for a few months and um, he's picking up the koto very well. Um, and even made his own obi. He, he did some sewing on his own, almost made his kimono, but um, he thought he would just stick with the obi for now, <laughs> right? And, um, you know, um, since I like sewing too, I, you know, um, I think we, we connect in, in more than one way. So, um, yeah, I actually made this top um, during pandemic, as well as some other things, because I'm more of a seamstress, I guess, than a braid maker. Um, and so this song, um, You Dachi, fe features Noah, along with Mayumi Nomura, uh, Brian Mitsuhiro Wong, and um, I'm coming up in the in the rear, Shirley Kazuyo Muramoto, You Dachi, Sudden Showers. Manjushage, Red Spider Lily. Um, this piece is a really nice um, upbeat piece about um, 
the red spider lily, which is considered a flower of the heavens in Buddhist scripture, it's sometimes called the higanbana. And it also features um, koto and boko. So uh, Emily, Imazumi, Emily Imazumi will be playing and singing this piece. Um, she has a really nice voice and you know, she's sung with um, Grateful Crane before she actually learned some koto in Southern California for a few years and then um, came up here to San Jose. Um, she's one of the students I haven't met in person, so I'm hoping that one day soon, because things are kind of opening up, uh, we'll have a chance to actually get together um, and meet each other in person. Uh, so um, I hope you'll enjoy Manjushage by Emily Imazumi. Aren't these doggies cute? <laughs> I saw these on, um, uh, on online as um, puppies that are up for adoption, and I'm pretty sure there's a lot of them out there. So if you're interested in adopting these puppies, I think um, you will have no trouble finding them. Um, so th this uh, photo is to introduce the next piece, which is called Tonari no Koinu. That means uh, my next door neighbor's puppy, which means puppy makes lots of noise, right? <laughs> and um, this piece uh, features a couple of students that were part of my group class before the pandemic. 
um, that I started at, in, in, um, at the Oakland Buddhist Church. I hope I can start that up again when things open up. Um, so uh, it features Fran Matsuoka, Ariana Tambora, um, also uh, assisted by um, teacher Isabella, uh, Isabella Kazuai Lu and myself on second koto, Shui Kazuo Muramoto. So this is uh, to Tonari no Koinu. Today is going to be called uh, Bumble Boogie, which is the boogie woogie version of Flight of the Bumblebee, which uh, was composed by Vimsky Korsakoff and made into Boogie Woogie by Jack Fina in 1946. Uh, one of my favorite Koto musicians was a blind musician named Kimio Eto, who um, came out here in the 60s and just blew me away by his playing. And when I looked into his background, I found out that after World War II, um, he actually um, performed with some of the jazz musicians, the American GIs that came over to Japan. And one of the numbers he played was Bumble Boogie. So I thought, whoa, that would be an interesting uh, tune to play on the koto. So I made this arrangement and it's played here by myself, Shirley Kazuyo Muramoto, uh, Isako Kajun Kashino, who did hers from Japan. Um, Isa, uh, Isabella Kazuailu in Oakland, and uh, my son Brian Mitsuhiro Wong on the Koto bass from, from Oakland as well. So I hope you enjoy Bumble Boogie on the Koto, and um, I thank you for joining us for our program here. Thank you to Nikki Matsuri uh, for having us. One, two, three. 